Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another quick tutorial for you. This time I'm going to show you how to fix your laptop if it won't power on at all. There's different models that will have different ways of doing this exactly, but the same basic general procedure will work for you. In this particular video we're going to be looking at an MSI laptop. And so here you can see that we're looking at an MSI model. So first with it plugged in we're gonna just try turn it on and we can see that there's nothing no lights no sounds it's dead in the water. So the first thing maybe try unplugging the power adapter in case it's something to do with the power adapter. You can even try replacing the power adapter and see if that makes a difference. The next thing is you want to re open it up so we got several screws here to replace. So you want to get a guitar pick or something that you can use that's thin and wedge in between the base so you can separate the bottom part of the base from the top part of the base of the laptop and just slide it around all the way around until it all snaps open. Once you got that loosened up you want to remove the cover but you got to be careful which end. There's that side and this end with all the connections. That end comes off last. So we want to lift up from the one side first and then just slide it out. You can't lift it straight up or it'll break. Next we want to remove the battery. So you can have a look at it here. There's one screw that needs to be removed. Now that the screw is removed, you just tilt the battery up and pull it right out. Now we want to tip the laptop over and you want to press and hold the power button for one whole minute. Even though nothing will happen, it doesn't turn on or anything, you want to hold it for 60 seconds just to flush the power out. Next we flip it back over and we want to reinsert the battery and it goes in the same way as you took it out in the reverse order. It snaps down and put the screw back in. Next put the cover on and you want to put it back on in the exact reverse order as the way you took it out. So it needs to kind of slide into place on that one side with all the ports on it and then it just snaps straight down. Next We'll plug in the power so it can get some juice because we just drained it. Give it a few seconds before you try turning it on and then you'll see it lights up and it's ready to start booting. Assuming you have a bootable operating system. So that's it for this tutorial and I hope you guys did find it helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Yes sir. Okay.